Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Football Manager 2024. This game just released today at the time that I'm recording this, although I think this video will go live the day after, uh, but that's okay. Uh, as you can already see from the thumbnail, we are going to be traveling back to a team that we were at briefly last year, Buxton. I uh, decided I would give them another chance because, honestly, I like their little logo with the little, little deer on it or whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, and as you guys might have remembered, if you watched last year's, we got fired about partway through the first season. It was, I felt it was a little cruel considering that we then went on eventually to Banbury United and took them all the way to the Premier League. Not only that, we took them to the Euro qualifying spots of the Premier League and then I just ran out of time. So hopefully we can be a little bit more efficient and do better this year with Buxton and hopefully we don't get fired right away. But without further ado... I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Let's get into this. All right, here we are about to start our Buxton save. Uh, before I get into this, I do want to ask if you do like these types of videos and want to see more of them, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so when you, know, you know when these go live, uh, they go live every other day, two, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays uh, at 11 o'clock my time, whatever time that is for you guys. Uh, also, consider, uh, you know, hit the or comment below. I read all the comments, try to reply to as many as I can. And if you do really, really, really want to support the channel, uh, I do have channel memberships turned on and you can support me that way. Also, real quick, this is relatively new, so I'm going to go ahead and announce this as well. On Mondays, I will be streaming Football Manager at uh, those evenings as well. 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time to around 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Uh, so I live in the mountains. I live in Colorado. Um, and so if you want to watch me streaming uh, Football Manager, it'll be every Monday during those time slots. I do stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays as well for other games, Farming Simulator and currently Civilization, respectively. But... Um, Football Manager will be on Monday. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm wearing my my one and only footballing jersey or kit, if you will, uh, which is when I went down to uh, Columbia for work a few years ago. They were kind enough to give me a Colombian jersey because uh, Colombia was in the uh, in the World Cup at the time, and that was that was actually I was there. I got to watch the the World Cup match with them uh, with the guys down there. So it was really a lot of fun. So that's what I'm wearing today, although it is kind of coloring my face a little funny on the camera. That's all right. No big deal. Uh, but here we go. Buxton have today confirmed the appointment of David Royer as the Cubs' new head coach. Eyebrows have been raised. Eyebrows have always been raised. Come on. One of these days, eyebrows need to stop being raised. Um, I mean, I, yes, I am an experienced, although I'm, I'm experienced in fault my manager at this point. We'll just gloss over the age. Don't look at that. Uh, and I'm going to have plenty of questions uh, to replace the previous head coach, Craig Elliott. Uh, I do, I, I guess I probably just glossed over it. This is going to be just like last year. And it's going to be a road to glory run where we start as Buxton, hopefully stay with Buxton, and take them all the way to the Premier League. The goal, of course, being win the Premier League and win the champion, uh, uh, championship. Um, goodness, yeah, the Champions League. There we go. That's, that's, my brain was like <laughs> jumbling words for a second there. We're going to try to win the Champions League. Also, hopefully we can have win the FA Cup. Any trophies we can get along the way. But those, those, are, those are the goals there. Um, and we just fell a little bit short of that than last year in 2023. I could have continued the save, by the way. There's a new feature in 2024 where you can continue your save. I decided I did not want to do that because I felt that would be too short. So we'll just start over with a Buxton here. Let's go. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. Year founded 1877. That is an extremely old team. Now, this team did make it into the, uh, to the, uh, um, the North, the Van Arama National North last year. That's the reason why I picked them last year. Uh, looks like they were able to stay up this year, which is good. Uh, they're currently running a 4-2-3-1, it looks like, most likely. We'll jump into that here in just a moment, see what their team looks like. Uh, they want us to work within the payroll budget, glow, grow the club's reputation. Obviously, we're going to do that as we progress up the leagues. Uh, reach the Vanarama North playoffs. They actually want us to reach the North playoffs this season. Uh-oh. Watch me get fired again. <laughs> oh, hope not. Uh, and then get the better of our rival Matlock if we happen to play against... I can't imagine we'd be playing against Matlock. I didn't see them in the playing... The, team list, although I could be wrong. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everything else looks good. All right, let's go. There are a few new things, obviously, in this year's version. We'll go over those as we uh, approach them, I should say. Uh, I have a massive database load. I think it's about 130,000 players because one of the things I felt like I messed up with with Banbury uh, was that when we got to the higher leagues, we just didn't have wonder kids from you know, other nations that we even knew about or that we could even scout or things like that. So I made the the... the the database quite a bit larger this time around, although the only playable league is England, or the leagues, I should say, the only playable nation is the, all the leagues in England. 
Uh, every there's a few others that are currently viewable, and then I just loaded players from all the continents. So that's kind of how I set that up. If you guys want more details about how I set that up, I can let you know. But for now, we'll go with that. Um, we have we actually have almost a thousand followers. I'm kind of surprised by that. We already looked at the uh, the vision. I'm honestly I don't really. This is fine. We're gonna go ahead and just accept it as is. Uh, players in last year of contract now. We actually have salaried players? Really? That seems strange to me at, uh, at this level to have actual salaried players. Now, one thing I do want to do is come in here to preferences. And we're going to go ahead and change this to pounds. Because we are in the United Kingdom, we might as well get used to that. We'll also change this to English in the UK because I'm used to the whole managers versus coaches or whatever they call them in America. Uh, everything else I think is going to be fine. Let's go with that. I may eventually load a skin, but for now we're just going to get started with this. Um, tactical direction required. Yes, we need to create a tactic. I know. Uh, we'll also go over the... Uh, I'll get the uh, practice stuff set up here in just a minute. And let's go ahead and take a look at the team. Squad... Uh, no, I need to set up a tactic to look at the squad planner. Uh, I guess we'll go look at... We'll set up a simple tactic real quick. Let's just set up... Uh, sure, a ganger press. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose a... Four, two, three, one, because I think that's what they kind of had suggested. And we'll just see what this looks like. In fact, I'm actually going to have, um, yeah, sure. Entire team, just select, select us a basic team here, and we'll kind of get a look at what they have here. Let's go look at the squad planner now. So, goalkeepers, we got, honestly, a reasonably good goalkeeper here in Max Dernley, uh, who has some growth potential ahead of him. He's 25 years old. Obviously, goalkeepers can last up until their 40s sometimes. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but... Uh, we'll take a look at him real quick. He is currently six foot five. That's not bad. Uh, aerial reach 14. Jumping reach 17. Okay, this guy's going to last us a few leagues, I think. I actually think this guy will last us into the uh, League 1, maybe even League 2. Or League 2, League 1. Which one goes first? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know this answer. Skybit League. Oh, I don't have the leagues actually loaded. You know what? I used to have them loaded. Um, One... Oh, it's Skybet. Oh, did I just spell it wrong? Why did I not see Skybet? I guess I loaded it wrong. So we got the championship, obviously. And yeah, League, I had it right. League two goes to League one. Or did I say it backwards? I think I said it backwards, but my brain was like, two is lower than one. I apologize, guys. I just, sometimes I have a moment of like, I'm stupid for a moment and you have to bear with me. Uh, so I think he could actually last us all the way up in League two is what I meant to say, if I did not say that already. Um, because I think he's good enough for that potentially. We'll see. Uh, what does my coach actually say? Uh, just a re leading Van Roman National. If you're leading Van Roman National, then you're probably going to be good enough for entry level into League Two. So good, good goalkeeper. Uh, what else we got? What are the stars? Oh, team average ability. Interesting. So we do have actually a couple decent guys over here on the left hand side, although both very old. Um, so that is not gonna work for us we definitely want to get these guys replaced at some point uh why does it have a question mark on the right hand side what does that mean poor positional depth okay is it because some of these guys are potentially playing in other spots oh see this is this is new a lot of this information is i, I didn't realize they had changed some of the squad planner stuff too i knew about there's some other things like set pieces and how we do tr uh transfers and things like that i had not seen some of the changes of the squad planner that make this actually way more useful i used to Kind of dread the squad planner a little bit because, in fact, I, I you know how I do my squad planning? I Typically, uh, last year at least I did, I literally just would draw it out on a piece of paper. I mean, you can see my, my formations on a piece of paper with all my players because the squad planner just wasn't useful the way I needed it to be. This is much more useful. So I can actually see that this guy is a first choice in another position. We can see where we've got good average ratings. We've got poor average ratings. Obviously, defensive midfielders here are looking really good. Um, I didn't realize I picked up 4-2-3-1 with defensive midfielders, but... We can make that work for sure. Um, yeah, no, this is good. We've actually got a halfway decent team here. I'm kind of impressed by most of this team. Uh, other than the fact that there are some very, very old people in this team, right? We got some good attacking midfielders on the left-hand side. Although Osborne apparently isn't good in another position. The only thing I wish this would say is which position he's currently select. Oh, oh, okay. It does. I just have to hover over it. He's currently first choice for attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. Cool. Uh, and I see that now. So we have some, some guys that... I mean, this guy's 26 years old. Do we actually think at two and a half stars, he's going to reach four stars? I have my doubts, but good to see that we have some guys that do have some development ahead of them. I mean, look at this guy's 27. I mean, he might hit another half star. That's fine. 
24 years old, going to hit three and a half more stars. It would be amazing if he did, but I have my doubts about that as well. You never know. Um, we've got a lot of potential strikers here. Huh. Let's go look. actually look at... Uh, what am I looking for? I want to look at... Not this. I want to go... Uh, how do I see... All right, here's our depth. And there's a roll. Okay. So, yeah. Two, six, six, two, two. And the only reason this is a two and a yellow dot, unlike this one being a two as well, is because one of these players is a starter somewhere else. Okay, I get that. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Show all positions is what I was looking for. So now if we go over here to the show full squad view, we can see a little bit more of where we have people. So if we didn't want to play the defensive midfielders, we could play just straight up midfielders. That appears to be just as viable, potentially more viable because we have Connor Kirby who could play there. Although Connor Kirby, you know, yeah, Connor Kirby, I was going to say he's, a, he's an attacking midfielder as well, but no, he, his best position would be uh, just regular midfielder. So we can go that route too. So not bad. If we go look at the uh, actual squad here itself, uh, I need to bring in one of my views because I don't like this view and I'll bring, I'll import some of those here in a bit. But if we go look at his reports here, um, again, Overall, our best player right now, I mean, our best player is 31 years old, in theory. Um, well, he's kind of tied up with everybody else. But we have a few 20 years old. There's another 30-year-old. I mean, this is the best, you know, player currently that also has the best potential, Connor Kirby. The only one close to him would be Mr. Max Hunt here, defensive center. We have a decent team. I'm actually impressed at how good this team looks. Now, again, these are all relative to what we have currently on the field, but... Uh, it's still more impressive than I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more. I was spending a couple, you know, three and a half, four stars, and then like a bunch of two stars, you know, um, but not really the way it's going to look here. If we go look at our unders, we have not, I mean, Samola might be somebody who turns into something somewhat someday, uh, which is nice because wingbacks are always good to see if we can get some of those coming in. But I have a feeling our, our youth squad is not going to be very good overall. Overall, for finances, we have a $5,000 transfer budget. How do we have a half a million dollar wage budget? What? Oh, uh, what? Let me look at this real quick. If we go look at, I don't think this is going to be populated. It's not. I wanted to see what some of these other teams are because that seems excessive to me. Like, if we go look at Banbury, I don't think we can look at their finances, can we? Can we look at any contract information about these guys? I mean, these guys have some wages too. I, this just seems excessive. Oh, you know what I'm looking at partly? That's what I'm looking at. I was, my brain, because I hadn't set up all the stuff. I was like, what is going on? These numbers like do not work in my brain because I normally look at this uh, per week, which is under, I think, formats. There we go. That should make a much more sense to me. Okay, <laughs> I was going crazy. <laughs> I was like, that's all, it, it's troubles. I, I have not played beta. I decided it's like, I'm not going to bother with beta. Let me just jump right into the game when it actually releases so I can just get into my first save. Um, so you have to bear with me the fact that I don't have everything set up from the preferences that I normally do. <laughs> I was like, 500,000? That's like Premier League. What am I? I'm confused. This makes significantly more sense now. I'm happy with this. All right, well, let me go away. And figure out a tactic, figure out my practice setup, figure out just all that kind of doodads and bits and bobs. And I will bring you guys back uh, probably after preseason when we get ready for our first game here against Boston United. There's Banbury right there on the schedule already. That'll be fun to play against them. But we play at Boston United first. Uh, what is our current as it is right now? Because we're probably not going to bring any new players in, to be honest. We don't really have much there. If I did anything, what I'm probably going to do, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it now is literally just take this transfer budget and go bloop and just say, let's just get a little bit more wage budget, see if we can get a few more guys in that way. Uh, maybe get a couple of loanies in, whatever we need to do. Um, so more than likely, the team is going to stay the way it is. But if we go over to competitions and go here, and look at the season preview, we are expected to be second place. We are expected to get promoted. Well, get into the playoffs and then hopefully get promoted after that, right? Um, so top of the uh, playoff spots. Hopefully get through there and get promoted. So it would not be very far-fetched for us to actually just trade up win this thing. Uh, unless I get fired. <laughs> Again. We'll find out. So I'll be back when we're ready for our first game here in just a bit. All right. I'm back. Today is the first game of the season uh, against Boston United, I believe. Um, 
nothing to show here. I mean, all these transfers actually happened before we joined the team. So we didn't get anybody. We didn't uh, have anybody leave. We didn't bring anybody in. We did have a couple offer, couple offers out for some really good strikers, uh, but both of them turned those down. Um, they would have taken up basically all of my, my wage budget had I brought them in. Uh, so maybe it's for the best. I don't know. But here's the tactic we're going to try out first off. Uh, we're just going to go with the 4-2-4. Um, gag and press, basically. See what this does for us. Maybe change some stuff around as we get into it. But more or less, this is the team we've got. We got uh, De, uh, De Girolamo, 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 something like that. We got Diego here. I'm probably going to change your name, actually. Miscellaneous set nickname. I'm just going to call you Diego because I'm going to mess up your name every single time I try to say it. So we got Diego here. We got right uh, two decent looking strikers. We got Osborne on the left hand side here. Smart, maybe not the strongest, but I think he'll be okay. We'll see how he does with that. Uh, might be a place that we can go look for a replacement at some point. Our two midfielders I'm pretty happy with, especially Kirby here, three and a half star current ability. Uh, we got McBurney on the left-hand side. And then across the back, we've got uh, Francis Engel. Uh, we've got Minihan on the two wings and then Hunt and Grant in the middle with Max Dernley, who has some good, we, we looked at that before, has some good development ahead of him uh, as our sweeper keeper today. So we'll start with this, see where that gets us. Uh, one of the things we are going to be challenged with is the fact that uh, if I look at, not there, let's go look at here. Uh, we can't train more than a couple days a week. So I didn't even bother setting up training schedules because it's like, all right, I'll just let the, let the coaches handle that. If we get full training, then I can set up my own training schedules that I like. But for now, we're just going to go with what we can because there's really not much we could do there. I'm still looking for more players, still trying to bring in a few more players, if or like, like at least one more good player if we can. But overall, I think our squad is okay, right? Like if we look here at the uh, averages, we've got a three and a half over here, three. I mean, this if we look at this one, I mean, it's a little bit lower just because people are moving around. Um, plus, I think it's because of the specific role. Uh, we're playing a ball playing defender there. We might change that around, but for now, we'll go ahead and stick with this. Mail feels looking mostly okay. And again, a little bit of weakness on the right hand side here. Uh, we've tried to get this guy Mitchell here. Uh, he could have been a striker, he could have been a winger. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, he was amazing, <laughs> but he didn't want to join us, as you would expect. So, not, not somebody we could get. We also tried to get this guy Thompson here as a striker. Again, amazing player. Would have been. Absolutely ridiculous for us. Just couldn't quite get him in. Uh, there is one guy we brought in on, on a trial. Uh, have we had this guy before? I remember the name sounds familiar. Uh, we might actually try and see if we can um, bring him in because he looks, you know, decent enough that if we can get him in here. Uh, in fact, I'll just give him whatever he asked for just to see if we give us a better chance to get him in here. Give us another depth option or just someone else who might just be really good. Campton Sturge. I know I've heard Campton Sturge before. I don't remember where. If it's either in my one of my own saves or or be watching somebody else. But I definitely recognize the, the name DJ Campton Sturridge. Uh, watch you guys just tell me that was the guy that we had like last season or something like that. <laughs> I just totally forgot. Um, but we'll see what that does for us. Other than that, that's that. I mean, this I think this first episode is going to be a little bit short. Just try to get a little bit of intro. Uh, the uh, preseason went, you know, eh. It, it, not really much to speak of here. We were obviously trying out a bunch of trial players, so I wouldn't really speak too much of our own players during this. Uh, really, the big test is going to be coming up here against Boston United. And as of right now, are we still slated for second? No, we've dropped down to six. So these other teams have gotten improvements that we just haven't had. Um, our best player on this list here is... Wow. Not until we get pretty low here. Banbury has a better team probably than us, apparently, or if this is an, if this is an order at all. Uh, we got Kirby here. And then we have uh, Minahans, who is... Is he one of our defenders? I actually don't remember who Minor Hands is. I haven't, haven't learned these guys yet. Oh, he's our right back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. One of our defenders. Um, so there we go. I mean, that's the team. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We will be getting right into games in the next episode. Uh, me personally, I'm about to go get ready for my first live stream, which will be doing a different save with the live stream. So if you missed the live stream, um, because obviously this video will air, air after the live stream will have occurred, I will be live streaming again Monday. So you can check that out then. But I think this is going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. We'll get right into it with Boston United and Brackley in the next episode. And then we'll just kind of get through this. I mean, I think we have a really good chance of getting promotion this first season in. If we don't, we're probably going to get fired again. <laughs> I'm going to have to find me a different team. Banbury, you want me back? Um, but we'll see. But uh, for that, we'll go ahead and put a cut in there. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.